Hey, hey everybody, this is Taz Street from Positive Out Loud. I want to talk about something that I just read from Matt Kahn, and he is a spiritual gangster. He is amazing uh, uh, the way that um, he explains things and opens up to how we're feeling, how we're doing, and the things and questions a lot of the beliefs we have in our head is just phenomenal. So I want to read something that uh, I, I just, that just came in my email this morning. So let me read this and then we can talk about it after I'm done reading. Hold on, get to it here. As an empath, feeling good is your natural state of being. Feeling bad is your conditioned way of being. So conditioned. In order to start feeling good, we begin by understanding that it cannot be wrong to feel bad for any reason. It cannot be wrong to feel bad for any reason, folks. Feeling bad doesn't mean you've done anything wrong. Rather, it indicates that you are swirling in human conditioning. So conditioning doesn't mean there is a cosmic trick you've been fallen, you've been fall, you've fallen for. Instead, any moments of acknowledging your patterns of conditioning are honored as moments such conditioning is being healed. How can it be healed if it's wrong to face and feel it, right? What happens when any moment of feeling bad doesn't trigger an instant need to feel better? What if you just stopped in that moment and said, I acknowledge feeling bad as a conditioned state and any moment of conditioning can only be a moment where more of it is being healed. When feeling bad doesn't urge you to chase after the fantasy of better or become lost in the ego's dream of dislike, you're able to embrace feeling bad as crucial moments of expansion along your soul's journey. It is truly astonishing twist of fate the more often you respect times of feeling bad as gateways and milestones of transformation the more moments you begin to actually feel good from a broader perspective so what i love about this is that um, this is like permission to feel that conditioning to feel it and to accept it uh, just to be aware of it to look at it and not to judge it and make it bad and make it wrong, but just to be with it and and learn from it and grow from it and transform through it and to love it. It's all about love in, in the end. It's all about loving all of it. And the more that we can love it and the more that we can love those uh, bad feelings that come up or these uh, ways, you know, because when we believe something that uh, makes us feel heavy, and tense um, we know it has to do with the human conditioning right and um, and then we go back and we judge ourselves for for thinking those thoughts or, or, or feeling like that but it's just the human conditioning that we've been taught since we were little kids so just to be aware of that is, is pretty phenomenal that because you know some people are not even aware of when they are 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 in that place of stuckness of feeling bad, feeling angry, feeling sad over whatever thoughts or, or beliefs or whatever's going on in our head and getting attached to that. So uh, just to acknowledge and honor those and to be with it and to be aware of it is quite an accomplishment. So um, I really love uh, what he said here. and. I would love to know what you think about this and how you feel about that and what happens to you when you get caught up in those feelings of feeling bad per se and what do you do when that happens. So um, let me know what you you think in the comments below and let's talk about this. All right. Have a beautiful, wonderful day.